On the 30th anniversary of the Mabo case, leading Indigenous land rights activist and lawyer Noel Pearson has praised the High Court Justice who led the historic judgment. Mr Pearson was speaking as a special guest of his former school in Brisbane. Noel Pearson told a new generation of St Peter's Lutheran school students that Australians were still uncertain about our national identity. British institutions, multicultural migration. Three Australian stories that answer the question, who are the Australians? We must bring these three stories together. Mr Pearson used the 30th anniversary of the Mabo decision to say recognition and justice for the country's original peoples was needed to bring Australians of Indigenous, colonial and migrant backgrounds together. We needed to reconcile our trouble history. For too long the country avoided it through the fiction that the continent was never owned before European colonisation. All that changed on the 3rd of June 1992 when the High Court ruled that Australia was not without legal owners before the British arrived 204 years earlier. Australia was owned before British colonisation and the title of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples survived the claim of the British Crown to the Australian continent. Mr Pearson then praised the late High Court Justice Sir Gerard Brennan. He died yesterday at the age of 94, 24 hours short of the 30th anniversary of his historic leading judgment in the Mabo case. Justice Brennan was a Queenslander and it was he who declared that it would be an unacceptable racial discrimination for the law of Australia to deny that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples owned their traditional homelands under their own laws and customs. He said Mabo became a cornerstone for reconciliation by recognising the true ownership of the continent over 60,000 years. A response to the 2017 Uluru Statement from the Heart will complete our Commonwealth. Mr Pearson said the Albanese government's commitment to recognising Indigenous Australians in the Constitution was a chance to bind all Australian stories into one. Even as we maintain our diverse individual and group identities, we will be able to speak in the first person plural. We the Australian people. Thank you. Adam Waters, Sky News.